If you were going to ask the lost world and even some professing Christians what was one of the greatest teachings Jesus ever had, they would give you two words, judge not. To the shock of these people, however, these are the first two words in an entire passage demonstrating how to judge as prescribed by God in the flesh himself, Jesus Christ. Let's hear what he said. Matthew 7 verses 1 to 5. Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye? But considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite! First cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. You could almost summarize Jesus' message as, Don't be a hypocrite as this passage is for the cause of making judgments. The passage does not say, lest you be judged, but rather judge not the way that you would not be judged, which makes sense in its context. Let's turn to another passage to see the significance of judgment amongst Christians. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 1 to 4. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust, and not before the saints? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. In the context of the last passage, when we judge a brother, we do so not being a hypocrite, but with the imputed righteousness of Christ can we tell a fellow believer where they are wrong. Take into consideration this passage as we turn to the next one. Romans 3 verses 19 to 24. Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and all the world may become guilty before God. Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We judge the world according to what scripture says. As the law that was established demonstrates how we have trespassed against God's standard. We are ambassadors for Christ and let the lost know how they have fallen short of the glory of God and that they need a savior. If we do not judge and do not let people know where they have erred, they cannot know how they have fallen and their absolute need for the grace of God. So if someone says, judge not lest ye be judged, ask them politely to turn to the King James Bible and show you where Christ said that. They won't be able to, and then you can tell them to stop lying.